co-founder of Airbnb, Nathan Bell. Belkarchik at the Economic Times Global Sum uh, Business Summit. He talked about the journey of Airbnb in the Indian market. He also spoke about Airbnb's future plan in India and globally. Listen in. Well, what we're seeing is uh, a real growth in the domestic market now. Um, so we have now 45,000 listings across India. Uh, Goa being a very popular destination with about 6,000 there alone. And uh, we've seen domestic market grow about 78% uh, in the last year. Uh, and we see it becoming a bigger and bigger part of our business in India. Um, within domestic, what we're seeing is business travel uh, really take off. There's now 6,500 Indian companies uh, that are booking business travel directly with Airbnb. Uh, and that's grown 4x uh, over the last year. So 45,000 listings that we are talking about, uh, almost it's, it's like 100% uh, growth if I'm not wrong. But is that pace somewhat difficult to sustain or do you believe that this is just going to go like one way which is upwards? No, I think, I, I think this can be sustained for some period of time. I mean, the, India is a huge market. And so I, I think, um, you know, in other countries, uh, the more mature countries where, you know, U.S., Europe, you know, we're in the double digit kind of level of penetration. Um, and so I think that's possible here in India too. Uh, it's still relatively early days. Uh, the company's 10 and a half years old, but in India we've only really been here two and a half years. Um, but I think what we have now is a strong foundation. We have good momentum, and I expect this to play out um, for many years of high growth. So uh, the last time I was speaking to Brian, uh, he told me how India figures in the top five countries across uh, the globe uh, for Airbnb. Uh, going forward, uh, what kind of interactions are you kind of looking to have with the government, with the state governments? I know you're closely involved with some of the state governments uh, uh, and are looking to uh, uh, expand in a big way on that front. Uh, what, does, uh, you know, what should one really expect in the days to come? Yeah. So in the earlier days, we were really focused on partnerships to really show how the business model could be applied to kind of the local needs. And, and to that end, we've done a number of partnerships with, um, you know, women entrepreneurs. Yeah. Uh, we made a commitment last year, Brian made a commitment to help train 50,000 hospitality entrepreneurs. And typically these are folks in rural areas that don't normally benefit from tourism. Um, and so, so that has been what we have done and it's been very successful. Um, you know, as Airbnb comes to scale, it starts to bring questions up around regulation and, mm. you know, what should be the regulation for this new economy? And those are conversations we've been through in other countries. Now we've seen uh, about 200 different municipalities and countries around the world pass home sharing regulation. And I think, you know, this is just a sign of success. Of course, with scale and success, there should be rules and, and, and we welcome that. Uh, our approach to that has always been to be a partner uh, and to be proactive. Uh, and so we welcome dialogue uh, throughout India on this matter. You know, in fact, uh, great that you've uh, talked about uh, the issue of home sharing because in India we, st we don't have regulations on home sharing so far. Uh, the government is actively now looking at this space. Uh, uh, but, you know, when you're saying we're open to dialogue, uh, you know, what kind of regulations would you, would you uh, be, be looking at, would you be okay with? So uh, we have a lot of experience in this area now uh, since we've uh, had this conversation uh, in, in different places and, and we've seen many different models implemented. Mm -hmm. I think what's important um, is that you still make it possible for um, lots of people to participate. Because remember, who's participating on the other end, meaning the hosts? Who are the hosts? The hosts are ordinary people. Right. 